Hello everybody. On February 15, 2017, ISRO set a world record of launching 104 satellites in a single PSLV C-37 mission. There are many records in this mission. For example, a record 28 hours countdown time, the low cost of the project, the engineering innovation, ejection of 104 satellites without any collision. See, this is the image. This is how ISRO started its journey way back in 1960s. ISRO's first communication satellite was launched is Apple. It was Apple communication satellite. It was transported on a bullock cart and part of the rocket was transported on a bicycle. Over a period of time, ISRO has made landmark projects with their launch vehicles such as SLV, PSLV and GSLV. This specific case deals about project time management, project cost management and project risk management of PSLV C37 project. If we see the global space industry, it is worth 322 billion dollars as in 2015. See the budget of ISRO and NASA. ISRO's budget as in 2015 was around 1.2 billion dollars and NASA's budget was around 19.3 billion dollars. ISRO is well known for making low cost missions. So with this uh, PSLVC 37 mission, ISRO set a world record of launching 104 satellites. So earlier records belongs to Russian space agency which launched 37 satellites in a single mission way back in 2014 and US space mission which launched 29 satellites in 2013. See these are the number of satellites launched on PSLVC 37 mission. 104 satellites. Out of 104 satellites, 3 satellites belong to India. They are Cartosat 2 series satellite, that is Cartosat 2D satellite, and 2 nano satellites INS 1A, INS 1B. These 2 nano satellites are experimental satellites of ISRO, and rest of the satellites belong to foreign nations. According to ISRO, the project cost was around 100 crores. Half of the cost has been acquired by ISRO by launching 101 foreign satellites. Okay, see for example, this is the cost spent by ISRO on their Mars mission, Mangalyan. The cost of the project was 75 million dollars and NASA's NASA spent around 671 million dollars on this project Mars mission and their Mars mission. This is the cost differences. ISRO is known for their low cost missions. So in this case you can find more details about the PSLVC 37 time management and cost advantages. For example, ISRO spent around 100 crores on this mission, whereas Western Space Agencies like SpaceX, for a similar mission, they are spending 500 crores, and Russian Space Agency is spending around 700 crores for a similar mission. That is uh, the cost advantage ISRO was having. ISRO Jugard, that is executing projects with very few resources under uncertain environment with more flexibility and improvisation. That's what ISRO is achieving in all these missions. And ISRO's future plans. This case study also covers ISRO's future plans. That is ISRO was having uh, plans of uh, 
launching uh, manned space missions in future and they are planning to develop reusable launch vehicles which will reduce the cost of sending payload to the space and also they have plans for uh, missions for Mars, Venus and Jupiter. Okay, space competition. So ISRO is facing tough competition from the space agencies like SpaceX and Russian Space Agency and NASA as well for low cost missions. So overall this case study is a good project management case study. There are many learnings for management professionals in this case study. More details can be found after reading the case study. Okay, thank you.